So I have one equation of the line, or right bisector AB, and my equation number two, the equation that describes the right bisector BC. So I'm going to set y equal to y. Use the substitution method and solve for this equation. So negative 7x plus 11 is equal to negative 3 over 4x plus 19 over 4. Now the left hand side of the equation looks great. However, the right hand side has too many fractions for me. So I'm going to multiply by 4 in order to clear the fraction. And remember, my final answer is my intersection, that's what the circumcenter is, point. So I'm looking for both an x and a y. Okay, by clearing the fact fraction, I get negative 28x, because negative 7 times 4. Remember, the whole equation is a team, so whatever you do to the left-hand side, you also have to do to the right-hand side. 11 times 4 is 44, is equal to negative 3 over 4 multiplied by 4 is just negative 3x. 19 over 4 multiplied by 4 is positive 19. Now I want to group all my letters on one side. So, negative 28x plus 3x is equal to 19, bring the positive 44 over to the other side, it becomes negative 44. So I have a negative 25x is equal to negative 25. That means x is equal to positive 1. And positive 1 is the x-coordinate of my circumcenter, the intersection point. And what is missing? The y-coordinate of my intersection point. So I'm going to substitute x is equal to 1 into doesn't matter if it's equation 1 or 2, I'm going to use equation number 1, it's easier numbers. y is equal to negative 7x plus 11. y is equal to negative 7 times, I know that my x is 1, plus 11. y is equal to negative 7 plus 11 gives me a value y is equal to 4. So my circumcenter, my intersection point, is 1 and 4. We can do the same, apply the same sort of process to your centroid and your median. Now remember, those of you who are here today for the seminar are going to get a seminar sheet. However, everyone else who missed the seminar will not get the seminar sheet, and their unit mark will have to be based off their unit work. However, you can watch seminars on www.edmodo.com. Your username is just your name, no spaces, and your password is Albert. Okay, good luck with your units.